Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and we are getting ready to watch part two to the million dollar giveaway that Mr. Beast is doing. If you haven't seen part one of this, please make sure you click one of the links down below to link you directly to it so that we can catch up. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscription button, hit the bell icon so that you can get up to date notifications every time something new like this drops. Hey man, if you wanna be in the family and in the know, that's the best way to go about it. Now, in part one of this, we got a chance to see Mr. Beast select some of his contestants for presumably what is going to be the next round of his million dollar challenge on the second one titled hide and seek yeah we get a pretty good idea of what this is going to be about you know hide and seek in the middle of a gigantic stadium there's a lot of things that could happen a lot of things that could go wrong but we're going to sit here and try to figure out which one of those is going to happen so let's go ahead and get this bad boy started i'm gonna hit the play button Largest stadium in the world. Look at that stack of cash. That's insane. <laughs> Where are they running to? Oh, this is from last week. Last time. You're lying. We need more time, Jimmy. Three. One million dollars for your fans. Good luck. Wow. Oh, it's a million dollars for the fans. Had a bunch of crazy challenges. The ten people competing here were the winners of those challenges. So let's go left. They are not fighting. Ah, hide and seek. Okay, there we go. I haven't played hide and seek in a minute. Perfect hiding place. They gave us no time to hide. We scaled up like an eight-foot wall. Jimmy, come find me. <laughs> I would not want to. I would not want to do hide and seek in a place that big. That's insane. Like this is one of those things that would take hours. You smell that? If they're in here, they won't. Oh, this smells so bad. So it's a trash can right now. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Jimmy, I've been looking for like a That's year dedication. and I still haven't found anybody. Why do I keep picking giant places for this stuff? We did three laps at the stadium and found nothing. I feel like this wow. game could take forever. But right? sometimes you can get lucky. Steps to the perfect hiding spot. Hop over the top, climb in. It is the perfect hiding spot. Perfect. Now, What's up with all this trash can hiding? Trash can? No way. We got them. You're not some... Trash worker? No. Trash worker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he got caught right in the middle of it. Mad Pat is officially out. Look at my shame. No, not that. <laughs> no joke, I was like 40 feet away from the cleaner that you found. Ah, I searched 100 more rooms and found nobody. I literally have no idea where That's the saying. You're going to have to like get some other people to help you. There may be somebody hiding in there. You're right. Let's see if someone's in here. No way. I almost hit the door. I <laughs> <laughs> myself. A stack of various beverages. My butt is wet right now. I'm pretty sure I am. She said her butt is wet. <laughs> Yo, whatever it takes to win. Really struggling to find them. So I invited the five people that lost in the last video to help me see. Nice. Good. We rip a million dollars out of someone's hand. I love the energy. Get some of that hater energy in there. Yo, it's like nighttime now. We have not checked so far. It's very hot in here. It's very dark. I don't think there's anybody in there. You don't think so? There's nobody in there. I'm feeling it. Wow. I would also huh. stay outside. Yeah, I think that's where I would hide. Definitely outside. Ah! <laughs> One more done. Yo, and, and look, here's the thing. Like, it's dark outside, which means they've probably been doing this for hours. Can you imagine standing in the sitting in the same spot, especially if it's like hot garbage for like probably hours? No, thank you. But then again, it's a million dollars. Maybe. Meet me at the field pronto. But before I could go on the field to eliminate ZHC, Carl and Nolan noticed something interesting. Like, what is this worker working on? He's just moving the car back and forth. He's doing worker things. He just looked a little bit suspicious. Jimmy, I found somebody. He doesn't know that I saw him. Who is it? So I, I'm hiding in this basket. People won't think to check it because it's like, oh, it's like a worker. Big brain moves, baby. Carl 
kept guard of the very suspicious car. Let's see if his hunch was right. That's actually not a bad idea. Push them around. Can you give me 500? I'll give you a thousand dollars. <laughs> Yo, where's he gonna move to? This is great. <laughs> Yo, it was a good idea, though. He literally just kept taking plastic and then putting it back on the cart and then taking it off. <laughs> Look, NPC. We found Mark Rover and THC. Only seven of you remain. Only seven more left. <sighs> Maybe I do need my mom right now because I am scared. And to celebrate getting three people out, we're officially shutting off the sixth floor. I'll give you like wow. 10 minutes to, you know, move if you're on that floor. Jimmy just told us to move floors. I was super comfortable and that sucks. They want me Dang. to that's smart though, because you don't want to be out there just all night. But how do you find the ideal spot? <laughs> Subscription plug. I think I found a great spot. I think I'm good. This is dangerous activity. I can't believe he locked himself in a freezer. Yo, that's crazy. Like, you got to keep in mind, like, back in the day, people used to die playing hide and seek and locking themselves in refrigerators because they would lock from the outside and then you couldn't get out and they were airtight and you would suffocate. Yeah, so you'd have to put a disclaimer right there. I just want to see that again because, yeah, that's just not the smart move. <laughs> I think I found a great spot. I think I'm good. I saw me a freezer. <laughs> this is a dangerous activity. Don't try this at home. I'm a bush. Even with Zach branching out his hiding skills, we were getting closer. Well, if this isn't a suspicious room. <laughs> okay. If I were them, I would create a blockade using these guys to distract away from. Ah, the mouth was it. Darn it, I thought for sure. So oh my gosh, she walked right by him. Not bad looking. Listen, if I'm going to be hiding, this is going to be hours on end. I really am going to be in like one of the skyboxes hiding because, you know, if I'm going to get caught, you know, I could at least get caught in style. <laughs> and you're a wrap. Wait, go see who that was. Oh, my God. Despite not finding anyone, <laughs> Eric got lucky. I 100% just saw a face in this trash can. Okay, is this a person? Oh, my God. <laughs> that is a real person. Oh no. You've been in this box for like five hours. That's crazy. No. Sitting in a trash can for five hours. See what I'm saying? Hiding in a trash can. Yo, skybox, baby. I advise you stop hiding in trash cans. They don't work. Because of Matt Pat and Sophie, I can never trust a trash can again. No one. Can I inspect these bags? Okay, you're good to do your job. Because Rosanna's still in, I even have to check things like this little trash can. She can fit in anything. Like, if I were a tiny Rosanna Pansino, where would I hide? Boom! <laughs> hide it. Hide with the x-rays. Tiny Rosanna Pansino, where would I hide? I thought I had it for sure. <laughs> for sure. It had been another two hours since we found anyone. That's and nuts. I to make the circle smaller again. But right before I could do that, I stumbled across one more person. If I were to hide anywhere, it would be this room. Wait a minute. Is that some sneakers I see right there? I'm going to guess it's Logan. This feels like some Logan stuff. Oh! oh. Sorry, it didn't work out, fella. You didn't manage to win this million dollars for your fans. I tried. I'm going to go find more people. Attention, five remaining contestants. Bella five has left. Been found. I'm shrinking the playing field down to the first floor. This is where things get serious. Oh. I'm going to move floors. We're fine. Okay, we're moving. Dude, they got to be moving. <laughs> My man's trying to make a run for it and drop the walkie talkie. Nah, man. Get out of here.
caught. Uh, <laughs> yo, you been out there so long. Somebody got to be hungry and just be like, yo, forget this. I'm out. Just find me. Oh, gone. With mm. seven people now eliminated, we are down to the final three. Massive stadium, but there's not a lot of spots to hide. I literally showed up here at six in the morning, pushing through with zero sleep. This is nuts. This really is like a war of attrition. For a million dollars for one of your fans. You guys are currently hiding on the first row. This shouldn't take that long. This is going to be intense. We're coming for you. Good thing I'm on the first. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Use some gamer logic. Find a heartbeat sensor. <laughs> okay, I feel good about this spot. With Zach Lorray and Logan and only one floor left, there's nowhere for them to hide forever. We're able to scour every inch of this place, including the trash cans. No, I give up it's on the trash just cans. A matter of time. The real race is who will we find first? a little trace though you can see these black dots that i dropped i don't like that it's freezing in this freezer uh yeah really you are really sitting in the freezer man that's some dedication i would have been got out yeah, i hear everybody coming i think one of them's in the ceiling weird insulation on the countertop here weird giant hand print shoe print oh well, yeah let's look <laughs> Thirty-two degrees in this fridge, and I'm in shorts. He's not. Why? I feel like he might have been, but he's gone now. I'm like a hunter. I'm a hunter sniffing the scent. <laughs> he walked right by the freezer again. Who does it's that? Ridiculous. It is. No one believed me when I said the scenes. <laughs> Would you freeze for a million dollars? Look at this. Is. He couldn't do it no more. Turns he was out like, the yo. Was too much for Logan. <laughs> him get out. And we literally found him one minute before Zach. I knew it. I had your number the whole time. He was in the ceiling. But here's where it gets interesting. Does this mean Lorray won? <sighs> About that. Lorray actually fell asleep while hiding. That's hilarious. He legit fell asleep. But it turns out he was napping on the second floor the entire time. I literally just woke up. I don't know what to do. I mean, know what's the rules. Yo, look at this. Yo, my man was knocked out. And because Lorray was outside the playing field, we unfortunately had to disqualify. Which means by technicality, but well earned, there is a winner. Wait, say it again. You won. That's for real? Yeah. Are you? It was a hell of a hiding spot, though, in the ceiling. Yo, a milli that you have to give away. <laughs> what are you going to give this for? I will do Mr. Beast style giveaways, of course. Put it towards some foster care and filmmaking Aww. ventures that I'm into for. Uh... What a nice. nice. Thank you for really? For real? Yeah, that was cool. I'm feeling that. Massive hide and seek ones, yo. That's just absolutely insane. Um, but totally fun. I will completely do it. Yo, I'm gonna need your help to get my subscriber count up so I can do these Mr. Beast hide and go seek things. That's <laughs> probably what happened for years. <laughs> but I'm letting you know, I'm willing. My man hid in the ceiling. The ceiling. That's dedication. Which one had the more dedication? Hiding in a garbage can, hiding in a ceiling, or hiding in a freezer? Definitely not doing freezer, not built for the freezer. That's, that's no, that's an absolute no. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna conclude this reaction to Mr. Beast Million Dollar Hide and Seek Challenge. I don't know how you would have done, probably would have just done okay. But you know what you can do very well is click that subscription button and click the bell icon so you can get up-to-date notifications anytime we drop some new content just like this. Yo, let me know if you like this style of content. Uh, let me know in the, in the comments. Uh, and of course, you know, I'll give you a response and all that good stuff. Yo, it's your boy Sintel with the Intel. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.